Getting back on track, get this. When you're young at school and at home, you're constantly told never tell lies. So after a while, the indoctrination process grabs a hold and you walk into school with your E-man lunchbox thinking, don't tell lies, John, don't tell lies, John. What Teacher you asking you, you what you thought to the book you just read. Proper fucking wank, miss, is what you should say if you do what your mum tells you. Contradictory messages, you see. I can't lie, does that mean I can't tell truth? What should I do, not say anything? Paradox land. Not only that, when you're little getting all this Santa Claus shite round down your throat every December, everyone knows the miss. I remember me uncle, my mum and my dad coming in pissed on Christmas Eve, doing the old snowy footprint trick with the icing sugar, and I'm thinking, why is it snowing our house when there's none outside? See what I mean about keeping it simple? Making rod for their own backs by trying to con you. Santa Claus, Father Christmas, Saint Nicholas, bullshit. bullshit. Teaching children that I nate to your geezer from the Arctic Circle comes down everybody's house in December. Wouldn't your mum have a fit if someone climbed on an icy roof for a start? And what's more, how the fuck does it get down your chimney when A, you ain't got one in your Ben Bailey show house on your new posh estate, and B, you got an electric fire, so how's it gonna fit through that? So he reckons he'll presents under the tree, even though there's an Argos bag that your mum had last week and it were a bit see-through, eh? And where's that scale electrics that were in it? Some people have him in your bedroom. Very trusting of your parents. What if Gary Glitter did that? Exactly. Have a word, it's perverse. There's more lies than deceit, though. Mum and Dad used to give us that. Let's give him a glass of sherry and a carrot, as if they know what it's into. Hang on, fucking skews me like, but we mates Timmy Gregg and Danny Bingham reckon they left him a glass of sherry and all and he necked it. So that's three glasses of sherry on our road alone. If he does that at everyone's house, he must be fucking bladdered. Drink driving, eh? And there's us encouraging him. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not the only one. I'm not on some big diss Santa trip. It's just bullshit. It comes to everybody's house. Really? Cod shit. He ain't been to Abdul's house, because Abdul says he played on his Amiga all night and all day and nobody came. Tooth fairs, another one. Some small bird with wings. Breaks in your house and buys body parts off you for Oi! a quid. Leaving it what under you your pillow and not waking you up. Oi! And the right wing press should know about this. They'd have a field day. The illegal black market trading in body parts, it's sick. So that's two break-ins in one year. Tooth fairy and that beardy dude down your chimney. Surely be asking yourself, Dad, why'd you bother having that burglar arm fitted It's shit? Clearly don't work, does it, mate? So there. No wonder we're all confused if we're bullshitted from day one. Even all this God stuff. You can see the dog collar having it now at Easter. Give thanks to God for giving us his son and sacrificing him to die for our sins. Why can't someone just stand up and state the fucking obvious like, you what mate, letting your son be crucified? What if my dad let me be crucified? NSPCC would be straight round our gaff having words but God does it and we're meant to thank him.